We obviously want to hit, we want to get plenty of swings, and there's a number of different ways we can do that. We can do it in the cage, you know, we can obviously do it on the field, uh, we can hit off the tees, there's a lot of things we can do. Wiffle balls in the outfield, uh, those are some, some drills that we have. But to hit on the field, instead of, just, instead of just hitting and just standing around watching them hit, you know, and just shagging balls like you would normally see in it, maybe at a professional game. You know, our batting practice live wants to be as close to game-like as possible. So let's look at a couple things that we like to do. One, hitting, which is obviously, it's live batting practice. So when we're hitting, when we're hitting live, you know, we usually hit in three different rounds. So we'll have three rounds of our live batting practice. We can hit from anywhere from five, six, seven, eight balls. I mean, time constraints usually, uh, you know, can determine that. Uh, but our live rounds might be, and these are just examples, the first round might be a hit and run. So they're actually trying to hit the ball on the ground uh, in our, every swing and, and, and just that, that is all the focus is on. And our hit and run rule basically is hit it on the ground, keep it out of the middle. All right, so they would be doing a hit and run drill. A second drill might be runner on third base with less than two outs. So when they're actually in the box, their approach is this, if there's a runner on third with less than two outs, then we can certainly execute that uh, with that in mind. Sometimes the infield's up, sometimes the infield could be back. Not necessarily our guys, but you know, visually in our minds, we could create that the infield's up, so we're looking for a pitch up to get into the outfield. So our second round may be runner at third, less than two outs, following our hit and run round. Uh, another third round we would call maybe a less than two strikes. This is where the hitter is certainly, uh, the, the count is in his favor, three and one, two and oh, we call that 31-20. It could be the first pitch of the at bat. We are geared up to hit the fastball, sort of a dead red uh, round. So we have three different rounds. These are just examples. We're gonna hit and run, we're going to run and hit, run, runner at third with less than two outs at third base, and then we're going to hit with less than two strikes. I can add one more to it that would help. Maybe we'll go a two-strike round. So the hitter, when he gets in the box, he's hitting with a two-strike philosophy and a two-strike approach. So in our live batting practice, instead of just standing there and hitting, hitting, and we do this occasionally but not often, we have actual situational hitting that's going on in our batting practice. Get it on the ground now. Trying to hit and run. We're trying to hit and run. Get it on the ground. Trying to get it on the ground. Infield's playing up. And it live. Coming out on the bunt. Push bunt if they're a righty or they want to drag if they're a lefty down to third. So that's the option they get. This is the hit and run round. Everybody in this group, which is, it looks like two guys, they'll be the hit and run. Then we have a group running the bases and another group bunny. <laughs> 